In this video we're going to show you how to network load balance on two web server nodes. Okay, so first we're going to go to features in our server manager. We're going to add a feature and we're going to look for network load balancing which is right there and we'll click next. Now we'll go ahead and install that. Okay, and while that's working, I'll go ahead and do it on my other server. So we'll go to the features, add features, network load balancing, next, and install. Okay, we'll check on the other server. Okay, that's done. Go ahead and close that. Go out of there. Check on our other one, close that. Okay, since everything is installed, we'll go to the Start menu, Network Load ba Balancing Manager. We'll right-click this to create a new cluster. We're going to add a host, Web2. Okay, I want that interface. Next. It's going to be a first priority. Next. And then we're going to give our cluster an IP address. Okay. Next, I'm going to call my cluster web. I'm going to use multicast. Next, all the ports. Finish. Okay, and then I'm going to add another cluster or host to the cluster. Web 1, connect to it. I want to use this interface. Next, next, all ports again and finish. Okay, and the pending status. We need to configure each interface on each of the servers. Okay, while we're waiting, I could show you that Web 2, the first one I set up is running the IIS shows the server name here if I go down to the bottom shows the server name there as well okay let's see if it's set up yet okay shows converged should be able to go to web1 okay that's the web server or web1 and again if I go to the bottom Web 1, and I can also go to the new cluster's name being Web, okay, shows the server name is the IP address. Um, I don't know how to show you that it is cluster. See that one hit Web 1 because I believe I put it first priority. Let's see if I can go by the IP address of the cluster. Okay, and see which server that hit. Should still be the first priority. Web 1, it still hit Web 1. Okay, well I can't show you that it is clustered, but however uh, you can see that it is being accessed by the cluster name and the new cluster IP address. And that concludes the network load balancing. You can add up to actually 32 servers on one cluster. Uh, thanks for watching.